After just coming back from injury, Jeffrey Hurlings is going to be out again, this time for his home GP in the Netherlands. After a, well, what was a pretty innocuous crash uh, in free practice, I think it was one, maybe one, he fell over and, well, fractured his right collarbone, which obviously is a very important thing considering how much your arms have to hold on and all the shock that the body takes from the upper body and down. So, it's kind of sad. This year is a super up and down year, if you want to say it. He's gotten the title for the most GP wins of all time, and he's also been out and injured for a couple, which kind of seems to be his MO. Super fast, wins a lot, gets injured. Super fast, wins a lot, gets injured. Seems like every year something happens, you know, last couple years has been the foot and the ankle, now it's been the neck and the collarbone, and it sucks because I'm a big Jeffrey Hurlings fan. Uh, I think he's a very, obviously very talented and good for the sport. It just sucks that he's always injured, and at 28, like, it's not going to get any better, or he's not going to get any uh, less prone towards it, let's put it that way. But uh, also... This was announced on the KTM Factory Racing Instagram saying, quote, Jeffrey Hurlings will not be will not line up for his home GP in Arnhem. I'm going to say if that's wrong, I'm sorry. Following a crash in free practice, the 28 year old Dutchman went down late in the session and suffered a fractured right collarbone, which is what I already told you. But that was announced through them, through their Instagram, and it kind of sucks. Hopefully he comes back. Uh, you know, we'll see. But in the comments below, you tell me. Are you a Jeffy Hurlings fan? Do you watch MXGP at all? Or if so, who is your favorite rider? Whatever it is, comment down below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Do all the fun things this platform allows you to do. Because it really just helped me out and I appreciate it. And with that, I will see y'all later. Peace.